What happened with the YouTube movie? It was one of those big ambitious projects that I had for a long time. I don't know what happened, but to narrow it all down, I will give you a pretty good story on what happened to the film and what happened to its production. The YouTube movie was one of those big ambitious projects that I had in store since the near the end of late 2017. I spawned this idea during the holiday break around the time Disney had announced plans for a merger with Fox. Anyway, I had this huge idea to have it as one of my first theatrical films. I wanted to get into the habit of producing my own theatrical films because I was inspired by the big studios movies and I just wanted to take a shot at it myself. <laughs> One of the, the main studios I wanted to hope with this collaboration was 20th Century Fox. At the time, it was announced that Disney would be acquiring it, like I said before. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, there- I wanted to get this film done as neatly as possible, but there were things that got in the way, and there were a lot of problems that I dealt with on the way. I actually came up with these characters. Okay, I'll be honest, I actually uh, got images from offline and drew over them to create original characters which i know is not the smartest way to do it because of but plagiarizing and yeah i i felt stupid over that when i found out later on i just i made a post on it in 2021 saying i what a goof i've made of myself and that the project would have to be cancelled however one of my viewers caught onto this and said I should continue with the project by coming up with something new. And I came up with a storyline which would be kind of interesting. It took me like a few months to get it done. The story, not the movie, of course. But, yeah, it was pretty interesting. However, it does kind of parody some moments from certain films. And I don't want to infringe off of anything, so, yeah, there we go. And as I said, Fox I chose to help distribution. But there was another problem. Disney acquired Fox. That wasn't a problem. It was shocking, yes, but it wasn't a problem. Well, that is until 2020. Well, you know the rest. No! God, please! No! At one point, I considered having Blue Sky Studios collaborate with visual effects and whatnot, but that went off the rails when Disney decided to shut it down. Fortunately, I made the smart move to try and purchase said company. However, it was already too late when I shut it down. But don't worry, I haven't given up on my promise. And never will. I suggested that Pixar would help out with visual effects, but there's a problem. I don't even know how to get in contact with them. I do know how to get in contact with Disney, and uh, I'll work on that. Okay, so. Now, not everything will be included in this film. Well, not everything could be included in this film for a number of reasons. One being, I didn't want to include everything. And the internet is really vast that I can only reference some of the most iconic. Knowing that Fox has this budget concern that's been happening since they were on production of Cleopatra, that film uh, put them in a near-death experience. Only for Daryl F. Zinnick to just stop by and save the day. Hallelujah for that. Anyway, so.
So, as you might have guessed, there, I wanted to include numerous things. I could include Shrek in the film, but since Disney and DreamWorks don't get along very well at all, I don't think so. That's out of the question. So sorry. But anyway, for many years, I have worked on this project. I mean, it's been a long shot, and I can't get it out of my chest. So I'll just narrow it all down. Okay, so. I, a lot of projects got in the way, and for one, I wanted to have this as an animated feature film, but I didn't know if I wanted to have it as traditionally hand-drawn or CGI animated. So I decided to come up with comic animatics for the film, and I uh, made some changes to, to the character designs. I kind of revamped them. So when I learned of the when I learned of the horrendous ideas I got to uh, produce this film, I'll bet uh, not wanting to infringe off of anything, I decided to start from scratch and came up with the social internet movie to take the YouTube movie's place. Due to the fact that YouTube isn't the only media source, there's also DeviantArt, Facebook, Twitter. And a whole lot more. Anyway, so yeah, there's there's that for ya. I did create some newer original characters for that, and I wanted to start something new. Like I created new characters for this movie. The the, the original YouTube movie plans were scrapped, and new characters were in to take the place. So, yeah, there's that for you. But after a while, I thought, why not revamp the YouTube movie? So, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Now, I'm only working on the film during the extending day cycle, because I love that time of year, and I think it's personal. Just for the record. So, yeah. And I still want Fox to help with the distribution. I also... Uh... Not only Fox, but I also in 2018, I learned of this new film company called Lantern Entertainment. Basically, it was created as a replacement for the Weinstein Company after Harvey Weinstein was arrested for... Uh... I can't say here. Uh, assaulting women, apparently. So, the Weinstein Company ended up being shut down, and... Lantern Entertainment took its place. So yeah, I want them to help out with the distribution as well. So, I guess that wraps everything up. And yeah, there we go. If I want to get big on projects, I'll let you know. But for now, I've got a lot of stuff to work on. So in the meantime, there's that for you. That's what I call the healing power of friendship. Oh yeah, let's do this homies.